Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. I'm with you. What is up, you guys? Thank you for stopping by the channel once again. If you've been following my Instagram or my YouTube for a while, you will realize that I absolutely love Chelsea boots. And this video is going to be your ultimate buyer's guide if you're in the market to go out and purchase a Chelsea boot. However, there are a couple things to consider when you are buying a Chelsea boot. We will go over the silhouette, the materials, the quality, and the price and brands. Traditionally speaking, the Chelsea boot has a very slim profile, meaning it's going to be very close to the foot, very slim fitting to the foot. It's going to look very elegant and very sophisticated. So when you're looking for a Chelsea boot, don't find anything that's too chunky and too wide in the foot. Look for something that's going to be very slim and very sleek. The first thing you want to look at is the toe box. If the boot is too pointy, you're going to look like a cowboy. And if it's too round, you're going to look like you have a clown shoe on your foot. In my opinion, just meet right in the middle and find something that has a very nice round toe. It's not going to be too pointy, it's not going to be too round, it's going to follow the curvature of your foot very nicely and give you a very slim profile. Next up, you're going to want to look at the height of the actual ankle. There's two different variations here really. There's the ankle cut or there's one that's a little bit higher on to like the shin. This is all personal preference, but it does add a different dimension to the look. It's gonna give you more structure and more rigidity, and it gives you different styles when you are wearing your jeans. However, in order to pull off Chelsea boots, I feel in my opinion, you have to have a specific fit of your pants, and that is the skinny fit. Actually, one of my favorite brands for the skinny fit jeans is Mott & Bao. They're perfect for this because they're skinny and they fit very slim to your body, and they also have elasticity in them, which allows you to open up the leg opening and actually get it around the boot and keep a very, very slim profile, which is very important. Mott & Bao is really cool because when you buy a pair, they actually send you two pairs so you can try on uh, at different sizes, and then you just send back the size that doesn't fit for free. Not only that, they are actually direct to consumer, which means they can cut down on all the prices, they don't have to go through a third party, and they can get you very good deals for the type of material that you're getting. Mottenbau actually produces their denim in the mills that create the designer denim. I believe they start from $96 to $130, which is amazing for the quality that you're getting. Because Mottenbau is partnering up with me for this video, I got you guys 20% off. All you have to do is use the code JORDAN, so it's going to be even cheaper than $96 or $130. So. You're welcome. If you guys want me to do a how to style Chelsea boots, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, let's get into the materials. You have two basic materials when it comes into the body of the boot. You're going to have leather or you're going to have suede. The soles can consist of rubber, wood, leather, or a crepe material, all depending on the brand and style that you like. And last but not least is the elastic on the ankles and side of the boot. This is the telltale sign of a Chelsea boot. This is going to give it the structure and the um, support that it needs to actually be a boot. Now let's move into the quality. This is where people start giving Chelsea boots a bad rap because they look bad because the quality is bad. In reality, there's three different tiers when it comes to the quality. Tier 1 is basically your faux suede, your very bad quality leathers, and your rubber soles. These rubber soles are not going to be welted to the shoe, they're going to be simply glued on. Also the elastic on the sides is very thin and very flimsy, not very good in the long run. So the quality is going to deteriorate over time and it's just not going to add to the longevity of the shoe whatsoever. This is going to be your fast fashion brands. Next up is your tier 2 materials. This is where you're going to find the mid-grade suede, mid-grade leather. You're going to start getting into the more of the leather and wood soles. However, they are still using rubber sometimes and they are still glued in some brands. But they're starting to get into the Goodyear welt, which is a very good quality boot. Also, the elastic on these sides is getting a little bit thicker and it's going to have a lot more uh, bend back or snap back when you... Uh, when you, when you uh, and tier three is your premium materials. You're gonna have your premium leathers, premium suede. Everything is gonna be good, you're welted. You're gonna have your leather soles, you're gonna have your crepe soles, you're gonna have your uh, wood soles. And the elastic here is gonna be very thick. It's gonna be, there's gonna be no play in it. It's gonna go right back into its original shape, which is gonna give you a lot of structure and a lot of rigidity. So tier two and tier three are where you're gonna to wanna to stay. All right, last but not least, let's get into the price and the brands. So the lower end tier 1 brands are going to be like Forever 21, Top Man, H&M, sometimes Zara, and some of the ASOS brands as well. 
I know some of you guys live and die by these brands, and I like them too, but their longevity is just not the same as the other tier two and tier three brands. It's just a fact. These are gonna range anywhere from $39.99, $49.99, $59.99, up to maybe $100. These are the lower end um, of the spectrum. Next up, we have the mid-tier brands like Represent, Bobby's, uh, Mark Wen, those type of brands where you're kind of in the price range of 150 to around 230. That's a good mid-tier, um, good quality boot for the price you're paying. And your high-end boots, you're gonna be looking at the premium designers, St. Laurent, Alexander McQueen, Mason Margiela, Bottega Veneta. All those brands are gonna be your high-end premium designers which are selling anywhere from, you know, 500 to 1,000 and beyond. And trust me, at a point you get to where the quality is the same between brands, but because someone has a designer mentality, they can upcharge for their name. My personal favorite is Bobby's, hands down, my favorite Chelsea boot. The silhouette is amazing, and the price for what you're paying for, the quality-wise, fantastic. You're getting almost pretty much designer quality for a mid-tier price. It's amazing. I definitely recommend Bobby's. So that was the ultimate buying guide for the Chelsea boots. I hope it helps you in your journey. Chelsea boots are an amazing item that I feel every guy should at least try once. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. I'll have all the links in the description below for you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll be coming at you guys very soon with another video. And with that, I will be talking to you very soon. All right, bye.